Oh? Is this a thing that happens? If you let it idle, aggro just runs away and becomes a screensaver? I will now majestically path around the open fields and do like whatever, man. I don't care. You can't stop me. Ooh, is he gonna go into the zone? Or is he gonna stay in the... He looks like he's going in the zone. Is he gonna turn around? Oh, he's actually like... I thought he'd stay in the open field. He's like... He's gonna run to a Colossus. If I sit here long enough, will he, like, beat a Colossus? Oh, is he gonna turn around? No. Where are you going, aggro? Have I even been there yet? It's a little nondescript in green, so I'm not super certain. Anyway, what happens when I press a button? <laughs> It has to load, because I'm so far away. Oh. I thought I already loaded my save. It may have, uh... <laughs> that may have been the start screen idle animation. Or maybe I just sat long enough that it went back to that or something. I don't know. Huh. So session number two. I didn't quite make it in one day. It was getting a little late and I didn't want to torture myself. Even though I was really into the idea of having, like, beaten the game in one day. I'm like, that's cool. Because it was doable. But I was like, no, let's not... <laughs> let's not make the videos worse because I like the idea of saying I could beat the game in one day. That's a fun idea for a uh, start screen, though. Instead of, like, looping some cutscene or something like that, Aggro just loads into the map and just starts exploring around. I wonder if that was in the original or not. I have no clue. Leading somewhere back there. We usually go off to the right. I don't know if we go to the left. Actually, I don't know if there's an opening on the left. And the sun's not helping me right now. And Agro kind of just decided to go right over there. Come on, Nagro. Pebbles would have jumped it. <laughs> I'm comparing him to the most monstrously inhuman or unhorse like demon horse that can off road. Hello. It's not a path, but it's the next best thing. More health bar. Oh, there's a lot of it here. Those bars are getting long, but they're very minimal. While I was editing, I took a little peek at Shadow of the Colossus. 2005 edition, or actually no, that's a lie. I took a peek at, two th at uh, Shadow of the Colossus HD version, but you know the original game, but HD instead of this one. Uh, boy, that was a significantly less elegant in, uh, design for an interface. The new the new interface in the bottom right corner is a lot cleaner looking. It's very nice. It looked very different originally. Same idea. I think that's all of it, but that was like five or six. That's a you get a lot of fruit from one spot, whereas you the uh lizards are way more spread out. I'll still probably go after every lizard I, I find. And I'll probably still stare at that screen trying to see if it's increasing, but at this point I'm kind of convinced that my stamina is capped out. But I still see my, my health going up. If I've, if I've gotten any stamina upgrades from the last several pickups, then it has not been noticeable. Jump it, jump it, jump it. Yeah, not, re not really, but kind of. It's interesting to me to think the game kind of has the equivalent of heart pieces, but they're basically a secret. <laughs> that's that's a bit unusual for a game. 
Just seeing that stat of what tiny percentage of players actually have upgraded their health ever versus, for example, uh, defeating the majority of the of the game's enemies, for example. I'm gonna hug left this time. It seemed like the beam was going left more than right, but this whole area turns off your sword, essentially, until you can get back out in the light. Unless... That is... That's some, that's some open air right there. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's definitely enough space for a horse. There you go. Is that even more fruit? <gasps> oh, I'm so scared. How am I gonna get you? I don't have a rope bow. Is that where I'm going? That's probably where the fight happens. I mean, the only way to go is to shoot them down and hope I can get them, I guess. Alright, that didn't happen. I don't see more, but I thought I heard a lizard. <gasps> no, 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 I can't aim that fast. I can't aim that fast. <laughs> you you taunted me by running directly into me. How dare you. Why can't you be a nice, obedient, easy to capture fruit? Those guys are nice. They respect me. Where are you? Oh, I hear you again. Other side of the tree. Always the other side of the, of the trees. Dead. Yeah, I don't think I saw it go up. Oh boy. This one's gonna be risky. Even your character doesn't want to jump off. He's like, no, what are you doing? I have specific mechanics designed to make you not jump off these. What are you doing? Oh, yep, it's still going up. Oh. Oh. That's way shallower than I thought it was. And that's the worst way to find that out. Pro tip, don't find out how deep water is by jumping into it. Learn from the mistakes of your video game brethren. Oh my goodness, how many are there? My health is going to get so much longer this episode alone. There is something interesting about getting permanent stat increases from what seems like a... almost incidental item that's just sitting around in the environment. As opposed to super secret important dungeon or like generate generate this chest via lighting torches or play this entire challenge it's like no they're just kind of there different different not necessarily being better or worse but just it's different. <laughs> it's one way to handle things. It would be kind of interesting if there was like a survival game where one resource heals you, but another resource gives you a permanent- Whoa. I think I just watched my horse fall out of the sky and fall through the floor over there. What was that? Whoa, what? I'll have to check the footage later to see what that even was. But I can imagine there being like a survival game where like one common item heals your health bar or food feeds you or whatever and another rare item permanently incre uh, temporarily increases it. Or like maybe it gives you what seems like a permanent upgrade but then over time the upgrade decays. So there's some maintenance involved in keeping your high bar high. Was there an actual path to get down here over here? Ah. 
instead of the cliff I found. Although the cliff I found gave me fruit, so I'm not complaining. I thought I saw a lizard, but it was the butterfly being attached to my face over there. Hey, he didn't fall off a weird ledge this time. I'm pretty sure I saw Aggro, like, spawn in midair and then fall through the floor off in the distance. And that's... a trip. I keep almost... this whole landscape keeps making me almost think I'm seeing columns everywhere. It's messing with me. It's the same feeling I had from the first zone of Dark Souls 3. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go down there. I just saw a chance to explore, and I was taking the opportunity and found out that there was a way smarter way to get around that involved less falls. This is a way more reasonable way down. Although, it didn't really take much damage. In fact, I would have taken no damage if I didn't- if I had known the f jump wasn't safe. So I would have been careful. I thought the water was deep. Water. I want to look at that waterfall. I have decided that that is a goal for me at the moment. Look at you. It's remarkable how much that in particular looks like columns. But it's now that's what they're going for. I bet they hide a little gold thingy over here. That's where I would. No. Nope. Uh, they did. I can hear it. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Where is it hiding? I don't even know why I want them or what they do. It's probably up. Yep, there it is. Ta-da! That does something, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, let's stay on foot. I feel like Agro's not going to have the best time trying to path around here. There he is. I didn't think he'd be able to even get down here. Okay. Well, I thought I was going the right way. Well, this all seems to dead end. Let's try Spooky Cave. That's probably the normal way in. This must be it. Oh wow, that is an abrupt change of, uh, environment. Howdy. So now we've got a north desert and a south desert. I see that distant tree. I bet it's got what I want. Oh, lots of lizards around here. Wrong kind, though. Are you tailless? 
Are you already have already been here? He's got the glowy feet. I think that is I think that's the one I'm supposed to use. It occurs to me that after you chop off their tails, I don't know if they make the sound anymore for walking around. I may have gotten that one already. And it may have I think it might have stopped making the sound that notifies the player they exist. Huh. Don't have that one either, and it leads me towards the tree. This is safe. I'm pressing every wrong button. I don't know why I could not think of aggro being triangle for a bit there. It's the only button associated with them, basically. Just a staggeringly beautiful environment to wander around in. It reminds me of when I played the first Assassin's Creed, and I just sat there and got every single collectible because I just kind of wanted to be in there for a while. I was just spending a bunch of time in the game, just because, basically. I'd probably be a little less inclined to do that just here, just because there's not necessarily as much to do. very much just wandering around. You have a tail. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just killing them for sport at this point. It always looks like it can get longer because the health bar is right next to it and is so long. But that giant tree still has fruits for my labors. Ah. How big are you? Is that a... kind of a pineapple? I'm not sure if that's an entirely accurate representation of what it, what it looks like, but it's, it's as close as we're gonna get. Oh. This tree is not as helpful. Oh, look at those formations. Look at all those formations. That looks fantastic. Last time the rocks were this beautiful and, and diverse and detailed everywhere. And didn't look like just copy paste or like or like video game walls. It was probably Final Fantasy XV's open world. It's just neat to see. Oh, spot a one. Right when I was leaving. If only it was if only it's that easy. One thing is that the health bar and stamina bar keep disappearing. So when you're picking up one upgrade, it's actually a lot harder to tell if it went up or not because it's still materializing on the screen by the time the, uh, seem the seeming upgrade happens, probably. Cause, but I, uh, am I suspect I might be out of- I might be out of health upgrades. But it might be- but I, oh god. But I might be thinking that for the reason I just said, too. I just can't see... Uh... I can't see any more change, but that might just because it's fading in. 
And the change is so small. It definitely doesn't have the big exaggerated video gamey animations where you slowly... You show the health bar, then you show it expand, then you show your... The red part of your health fill in the newly expanded part, or like... Some other second color shows the change at first, then fades away. This is one of the ones we've done before. Which one was that? Is that the one where I had to knock him off the walls from the inside of the cage and he was shooting poison everywhere? Could be. Lots of hints of destroyed civilization everywhere you go. He's catching up. was a landing. <laughs> Listen to that wind. I'd almost think that we were by the ocean with the rolling winds. What? How? What is that arrow in? Oh, it's floating. What is this noise? This is magic. What is happening? <laughs> this, that vine is an arrow repellent. It's still going up. I saw it that time. It's just so small. It's so small, but it stands out because uh, it adds up like crazy because there's just so many fruits available. I guess it'd be it'd be easier to tell if they let the if they let the health bar be longer, but I think it's always going to be a really tiny part of the screen. I kind of like big meaty health bars. I see why some people go away from them, but. Feedback-wise, it's kind of great to have just a giant health bar. Like the giant, bo like Dark Souls boss fight health bar on the bo bottom of the screen is great. <laughs> Which is one of the biggest health bars I've ever seen, basically. Kind of bothered me, actually, that like... Such an important interface element was often like a tiny top corner thing and like Mega Man. Like, your health bar and the boss's health bar were so far away from the part of the screen where the action's happening. And I always found that to be weird. Although some games are even weirder, like... What is it? Castlevania, I think, is the one where... Maybe not. Wait, no? Damn it. I love Castlevania, but I haven't played for a while. I remember experiencing as a child some sense of confusion about its health bar versus its hearts. And I can't remember how they handled it. I think they did use your the bar as being your health. But maybe not. I feel like there's some game where you have like a bar that you think would be your health, but it's actually like... Instead like magic or your item hearts or something and then like your health is a number that's not on the bar and I'm like no What what did you why did you do that? I heard a lizard, but I think I'm kind of done with those Oh, yeah, all these upgrades just in time for the game to be over <laughs> Who knows maybe the last four will be way harder
Look at that ring. I bet that's landmark actually for the fight. One of the first things I saw and I've gone in a circle around it. Right. That's probably the most in awe I've been of a monster reveal. But would you look at them gas bladders? Levitated by bubbles. Part of the surprise came from the fact that I didn't pay that close attention to the next statue. So I didn't realize that we were on the third serpent. So one serpent was in the water, one was in the earth, and one's in the air. That seems like an intentional choice to separate them that way. That's how you make them not the same fight, because that was the, that's the concern. They're probably all similar to climb, once you're on them. I mean, there's... there's serpents. Alright, aggro, come on. He really, he really struggles at these, at any sort of non-open field situation. Like, trying to get him to move is so weird sometimes. I'm guessing we used the bow in this one. Crazy con uh, con conclusion to land on. And I'm guessing we shoot at the giant explosive things. Explosive's not accurate. I mean, what I mean is rupture the gas bladders that are how it levitates. You're so fleshy and gross. Where you at? Are you coming down? Are you crashing? Is he... Oh, is he just as good at being on the, on the sand? What's gonna happen now? Oh, that's freaky. He's kind of skating along the land, the sand. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, keep going up. No, camera. Stop rotating, I need to, him to go the right way. There we go. Oof. That was a little risky. Oh boy, don't fall off. Oh god. I don't think he likes that I'm on here. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh. Boy, are we having full takeoff? What a cool design. Oh, boy. Looking for glowy bits. Where are you hiding them? I guess there's one way to know. Is to search for them manually and hope for the best. Alright, well this camera's not really helping me. Can't even see it. Yeah, very helpful. It's somewhere behind you. Oh, wait, that's like where I started, isn't it? How did I miss that? Oh, was this flap closed? Oh, is he gonna flip over? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. 
I think that might have been down before. I don't know. He does not like me being on here. Are you going to do that again? Oh no. Uh, aggro. Time to go. Uh. I don't know where he's gonna come from. That's one way to get me off. It's just a burrow underground. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume I couldn't hold on during that. Uh, cause I sure didn't try. Seems like a bad call. I hear him over here. I feel him now. Wow, he's way bigger than I thought he was. He looks huge right now. You're gonna have some trouble staying in the air now, buddy. I got you as you were rising. How did you inflate underground? Oh, I know he inflated when he took off the first time. You are such a goddamn cool design. You got a bit more attention than Armor Doggy. <laughs> I gotta say. Oh god. Oh, get back out there. I had the semi-truck effect where its size made me misinterpret its entire scale and speed. Come on. Oh, don't let him take off. Oof. Closer than I would have liked. What are you doing? What? No. What are you... How did you get there? Why did that happen? No. What are you doing? There we go. Oh, come on, man. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is not going well at the moment. No, don't fall off. He's got some- he's got some spectacular falling animations. Like the one where he doubles backwards and rolls on his ass. Oh, there it goes again. Is there just so much wind speed that I can't even stand up? I need to. I can't crawl. He's so fleshy. Oh god. Is this one of the spots again? It was- yeah, it was last time. I think he might be going under again, so I gotta go fast. Here it goes. Oh god. I don't think he likes this very much. Can I make it there in time? He's gonna dive. 
Oh, his flap's closed. He's definitely diving now. Unless I stab it. No, that's a sand diving flap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jump at the last second. Oop. Not quite. <laughs> never catch me in here in the ring thing come out come out buddy I just want to give you a hug with my sword on the inside of your internal organs that are important to you specifically the ones that you have entire things designed to shield That was a wide shot. God, this is hard to make the shot of. Ah. It is so hard to make that line up when you're flying count, you're running counter to the direction they're flying and everything's going to hell. You having trouble staying aloft, sir? Let me help you. Ah. Uh, there we go. That's the angle where it's hard to miss. It's fine, I just have to make it down the entire length of your body before you throw me off or go underground again. It's easy. What could go wrong? Where are you going? Aggro. Yes, that's a really good, healthy starting point. Quickly, before he reacts. Before he notices. Oh, there we go. Haha. -ha. It is I who have the head start now. Oh, there he goes. Is he going underground already? Oh no, he's just reinflating and taking off. How? How is ahead of the curve? End him! Don't give him a chance. Blend in with a body and they'll never find me. Oh crap. That didn't work.
Okay, guys, it's starting to get crowded in that cutscene. Everyone's gathering around me. It's getting weird. <laughs> 